Hello, once again, welcome back um, to part two. I will be showing you the ribbon for the neck part. This is the part where we'll be doing, and I'll show you the bunny ears as well. So, with a five millimeter hook. Same hook and same yarn. You will connect your yarn wherever you want to. But since I have the seam right here, well, I'll just tie this. And I'll just connect my yarn here. connect it anywhere really I just chose it here this because this is where all the ends are now I'll be chaining 17 Actually, I only just woke up. So, I'm a little bit sleepy still. <laughs> but, uh, we'll be fine. The 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6. So, I chained up 17. Now, I'm going to put half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and into the every loop. So once you put half double crochet in every stitch, you will have 16 half double crochets. I turn my work. You can go whichever direction you, you want, but I'm going this way. any direction so now you have the 16 half double crochets you will slip stitch twice any way you like if you skip like a lot of stitches that will be tighter if you don't then it will be more loose it will be looser hit I'm just going to yeah I put two slip stitches and skip two do not chain, put a half double crochet in the back loop only in every stitch. Once you put your half double crochet in the back loop only in every stitch, you will have 16 half double crochets in the back loop only. Now, chain one and turn your work. Put a half double crochet in the back loop only. In every stitch. I'm at the 15th stitch. Now, please don't forget the last stitch. It's hard to see. But this, this will be my last stitch. So that's the 16th. Half double crochet in the back loop only. Once you have that, you you again slip stitch to the buckle up bar. What I like to do is just put it straight, put the ribbing straight, and then see where where the line is, and I I will put the slip stitch first slip first slip stitch here, and the next one I'll put it right here. So basically, this is the turning chain for the half double crochet. In the back loop only. So now you will skip the two slip stitch we made and in the third stitch 
will make a half double crochet so you will keep repeating this pattern until you meet the first row and then I will show you how to connect both sides together it's looking like this so far so keep repeating the pattern until you meet the first row I am almost done with the half double crochet in the back loop only ribbon and this will be the last two slip stitches and then I will go down to the bottom with half double crochet in the back loop only again just make 16 half double crochets in the back loop only Now make two slip stitches in the last two spaces that we have. Be here, please. And turn. Skip two and then make a half double crochet in the back loop only in every stitch. And now I am done. I'm finished with the last ribbing row. Chain one. I am back at the beginning. You see, this is the first row, the chains, and then this is the last row. You wanna flip your work. wrong side out and we will we'll be slip stitch making slip stitch in the let's see so what I did is put your hook in the chain foundation chain that we made and then pick the not the front but the back loop only of the last row and make a slip stitch take one loop I mean the one stitch and take the back loop only of the last row and slip stitch that looks like I mean the front looks like this So 
so we'll do that until we until we do every stitch so we just connect both sides together with a slip stitch I am almost done with the slip stitches just trying to make it secure so there won't be any loop here I'm making sure We'll make a single crochet here. I just do that because it's my, I don't know, I think it's a habit. <laughs> I just make a single crochet at the end, chain two, and cut the yarn. Now we're done with the balclava. Just put the water. And you can weave in the ends at this time or whenever you want, of course. <laughs> I'll just pull this end over here so yeah this is the slip stitch we did at the end we connected the slip stitch it's not that visible I think Now we'll, we'll be making the ears, bunny ears. For that, I have a contrasting color that's white. I'm going to use this blue, same color, and the white for the inner part. This is, I believe, is a medium weight yarn. This time I'll be making the ears bigger. So, okay, let's take the, um, the blue first, the outside, outer, how do you say, so this is the inner part of the ear, and this will be the outer part, I don't know, <laughs> but, um, so first we'll make a slip knot and chain let's say 40 I'll chain 40 and I'll show you what to do next now I chain 40 chain two and make a double crochet in the third chain from hook so it will be right one two right here double crochet and make a double make a double crochet in every chain that we made And this chain two does not count as a stitch. We will have 40 double crochets in total at the end of the row. I made your butt there. So once you made your 40 double crochets, we will go back into the last stitch. And make three more double crochet 
in the same stitch. So we will end up with four double crochets in the last chain that we made. And now we are going to work on the other side. So from here, make a double crochet in every stitch. I'll let you know how many I did. I'll be back. So, okay, I counted the stitches, but after we made the increase of three double crochets at the end of the foundation chain, I did 39 double crochets. And now we're going to make in the same stitch after the 39 double crochet, we're going to make three double crochets in the same stitch again and then make a slip stitch okay make a slip stitch on top of the the first double crochet we made so this was the two chains two chains so we'll make a slip stitch here and it will help to put a stitch marker Unfortunately, I let's see. Oh, I have it right here. <laughs> this is this works. Um, so we chain two, make a half double crochet in the first stitch. So that's chain two. The first stitch will be the same um stitch where we made the um two chains. Because two chains, they do not count as a stitch. So make a double crochet in there. And put a stitch marker. Now I'll let you know how many double crochet I did. Thirty-nine. Okay, so I need to think. Okay, so after this is a stitch marker we put um, for the second row. So I did thirty-nine double crochets, and we'll make increase again. So one increase. That means two double crochets in the same stitch. One increase. Two double crochets in the same stitch. Oh, one increase. And another one. So we did four increases. And we'll make double crochets until we get to... We get to the fourth stitch from the back, um, from the first, from the first stitch. But I'll um, let you know how many double crochets I did. Okay. So I made thirty-nine double crochets after the four double crochet increases. Now, this is slip stitch, so we have three, four, two. So now we're gonna make another double crochet in the 39th stitch and make three increases of double crochet one, two. three 
I apologize if this part is very slow. I mean, uh, I feel like part one was also slow, but I'm making this up as I go. So I haven't written down the bunny ear pattern. So now we'll slip stitch into the first stitch where we had our st stitch marker. So slip stitch, chain two, and make a double crochet in the same stitch. And I'll let you know how many double crochets I make next from here. So including the first stitch, I've made 42 double crochets. Now we'll make an increase of two double crochet. Now we'll make three double crochets in the next stitch, in the same stitch. I meant, wait, um, here we have the increase after 42 double crochets. Now into the next stitch, we did three double crochets. In the next stitch, we'll do two double crochets. So that's a normal increase. And once we get here, we'll do the increase again. But of course, I will show you the stitch count. So after the increase, from here, I did 46 double crochets in every, um, I put a, I put one double crochet in every stitch for the next 46 stitches. So I have 46 double crochets after the increase. Now I will make an increase of two. Next, I'll make increase of three. So put three in the same stitch and into the next we'll make two. So that's an increase and slip stitch, chain two and leave a long tail for sewing this to the balaclava. I'll cut about so So for the, the white part, inner part of the ear, we will just repeat the pattern, but without. So we'll just repeat the pattern we just uh, we did for the outer part, but without the last row. So you just do one and two rows. And after you're done, with the um, the inner part, you will need to leave a extremely long um, tail because we'll be slip stitching the ear and attaching it to the outer part. So I will take about let's see. I will take. twice of this amount so I'll take about 120 inches to weave in weave that in so I'll come back and show you how to do that okay so once you have your inner ear part inner ear part is the same pattern as the outer ear but I did two rows, so one and two. So the inner ear part has only two rows and this one has three rows. So please go back to the outer ear part to make the inner, inner ear part. Now I, I probably have about 120 inches or more for the tail. 
because we are going to be making a slip stitch to connect these two parts together. Thus so you will need your hook. And actually from here to hook from the back and pull the white tail okay now now we have the tail in the back we can put our hook in the next stitch and get ready to do slip stitch so pull the yarn back to the front and put your hook in the next stitch in the next stitch of the, the outer part pull the yarn back to front and slip stitch so you will continue doing this until we get to the first loop and we're gonna connect it with a slip stitch but yeah so this is visible and that's completely normal the slip stitch they are they will be visible on the back of the ears if um, you don't like it you can use the same I mean you can you don't have to put the inner ear part you don't have to make the this white part you can just go with um, only this outer part but I think it's very cute like if we have the contrasting color So we'll make two of this. I'll show you once I get to the very beginning. By that I mean I'll be making a slip stitch all around until here, the first slip stitch. Okay, now I am almost at the end. I was a little bit scared because I was running out of out of the tail. So if you ran out of the tail, you can just connect the yarn and then continue slip stitching. But wow, I was a little bit scared. So last one, and this is the first loop here. It doesn't really matter, but um, so it does matter. I meant um, it doesn't really matter where where to slip stitch at the end. Um, as long as the white inner part is connected securely to the outer part. So I'll pull this and get your darning needle. I got mine. Okay, 
Okay, so I will go in this loop. And again, but not all the way. I will wrap the yarn twice to the needle and pull while you secure that with your finger. And now just weave it in, weave it in however you want to. Just go into these stitches. So you will make another one identical. This ear. Here we have one ear. Now let's connect it to the balaclava. It's actually quite long. I, I realized the first bunny ear balaclava tutorial I did, the ears were a little bit too short like this. So I decided to make it longer this time. Now with the tail on the outer part, fold it and sew it like so. I'm doing about that's four, five, and six. If you do six um, stitches. Oh, fold and do the six stitches then make it identical because that's what we want and then try try the balaclava on and then see where you want to put your ears bunny ears I, I, I usually like putting it around the corner of here So I'll go over here. Everyone has their own way of weaving in or attaching, so yeah, I'm just doing my balaclava ear, attaching it to the balaclava, bunny ear, um, I'm so sorry, my, I, I think I just woke up from a nap, that's why I am, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think it's securely attached now. And I'll go to the wrong side, I mean the inside, not the wrong side, I don't know. So, and then weaving, like this. I hope 
this tutorial um, was better or clear, more clear than the first ones I made. I hope it wasn't too slow though, but I did my best to explain everything. But of course, I'm not perfect. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be answering. I'll be doing my best to answer. So now one ear is attached. Make sure you weave in the ends in the balaclava as well if you haven't already. I haven't. Yeah. Now I'm I'm going to be making another ear and attach it. Probably take pictures pictures for the thumbnail. So yeah. That's it. That's the bunny ear balaclava. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.